It's puffball season. I think we should go look and see if we can't find any giant puffball mushrooms. Here's a couple that I might have mistaken as rocks, but they're actually puffball mushrooms. Here's one, and here's another. Oh, let's check out this one here. Look at it. That is a giant puffball mushroom. Giant puffball mushrooms are commonly found after heavy rains in mid to late September through the, about the middle of October. Here's a clump of puffball mushrooms. One, two, three. And yeah, there's a little one down in here too. Not sure if you can see it. So that makes four. This one here has already been knocked out of the ground. Look at that. That is enormous. Did you know that puffball mushrooms are edible? I don't know what they've tasted like. I've never eaten one. So we're going to take this one back since it's already been knocked out of the ground and see what it tastes like. So I'm here in my kitchen and we're going to cook up this giant puffball mushroom and see what it tastes like. First, let's cut into the mushroom and see if it's still any good. Oh, look at that. That's perfect. When it's white on the inside, that means that it's still edible. Now, if you get one and it's yellow in the middle and starts to have spores fly everywhere, then you should probably pass. I'm going to chop this up in little pieces and throw it in my pan over here and saute it with a little bit of butter. Not all puffball mushrooms are edible. This pigskin puffball mushroom is poisonous and should be avoided. You can tell the difference between an edible puffball mushroom and a poisonous puffball mushroom by what you find on the inside. The poisonous ones have dark insides that are full of spores. The edible ones are light and fluffy and look like cheese or marshmallows on the inside, like the one I cut open. So let's try our puffball mushrooms. What I did is I sauteed it in butter and a little bit of salt and I cut them in really nice big steak-like chunks. So let's see how they taste. Mmm. Wow. Very buttery because of the butter, but these also have a very soft, fluffy texture. It's almost like I'm eating a buttered marshmallow. They are very delicious. Now, a word of caution, if you don't know what a mushroom is, don't pick it and don't eat it. But if you do, they can be very rewarding and very tasty. Mm -hmm. I hope you learned a lot about puffball mushrooms along with me. I hope that you get a chance to get out of Big Hill Park and see the puffballs before they're gone. Enjoy!